see when uh, the steam, the coffee uh, delivery is on, uh, the steam pressure is moving. This uh, look. This happens when uh, the water charge or solenoid valve is locked. As we can see now, I um, I press. In this case, I can press the the boiler. The sorry, the pump. If I push the micro switch for the coffee delivery, start the pump. And uh, as we can see, we can move uh, the pressure in the steam boiler. This happens uh, when the, sol the solenoid valve for the water charge uh, is locked in open, pol in, uh, open position. Look. Okay, in this case, uh, uh, the solenoid valve with the problem is this, is the water charge solenoid valve. Uh, stay open, practically is uh, locked in uh, up position. And uh, as we can see, the boiler is uh, full of water. As we can see, it's completely full. Okay. Now we can see here we have the solenoid valve with the problem. I have to disconnect the two wire. One and one two. As we can see, the, the nucleo, the piston, is completely locked in up position. And practically, the, the spring, here we have a spring, the spring uh, of uh, the spring, this spring, uh, doesn't work and uh, cannot close, uh, this gasket cannot close uh, the passage. And practically, uh, when we make a coffee, this solenoid valve must be closed. In this case, stay on because we have a problem in this solenoid valve. This is the difference between uh, one solenoid valve. Uh, this solenoid valve work works as we can see the the spring push down, and uh, the gasket can work. And this this is completely locked. We have the spring, but probably uh, is locked as we can see this is new and this works When we have to close this nut uh, uh, in production, we use uh, the dynamometric uh, key and uh, 
is maximum one newton meter, one newton. Okay, now the table. The table is clean. I install the drip tray and uh, I put the power cord. There is a tank and uh, 3, 2, 1, turn on the machine. Now the machine works. I have to push the switch button and as we can see the machine works perfect